25 years to life in prison. That sentence today for two gang members who four years ago ordered the brutal murder of a 15-year-old boy. His name is Junior Guzman. And he wanted to be a cop. Instead, he became a victim, a vicious stabbing outside a bodega in the Bronx. And today, his family, who has pushed so hard for justice since that day back in June 2018, was there and getting some justice. Sonia Rincon in court for us today. She's in the concourse section. Sonia. Sade, if you've been following this case, as so many have since that horrific video of Junior's murder went viral, you have seen his mother advocating for justice for Junior at every turn. She was here today once again making the case for the maximum punishment, as she put it, not just because of what these two men took from her, but to make New York City safer by ridding the streets of violent gang members. They got what they deserved. Leandra Feliz, visibly relieved and thankful that two men convicted of ordering the murder of her 15-year-old son got the maximum allowable sentence for second-degree murder. Those who choose gang life need to know that this is where it ends. State prison for the rest of your life. 33-year-old Diego Suero was the leader of the Trinitarios Sures set who declared war on the rival Sunset crew, making it clear he wanted his members to kill. And in June of 2018, when they spotted Lesandro Guzman Feliz Jr. and chased him into the bodega, they were out for blood. The brutal murder caught on video as the men stabbed and slashed Jr. with knives and a machete. Five of them would be convicted of first-degree murder. But it was Frederick then, now 20 24, who, according to prosecutors, enforced Suero's orders outside that bodega, watching the vicious stabbing and reporting back to Suero that a Sunset member was dead, not realizing that Junior wasn't a gang member at all. My son was an innocent kid, you know, and he was only 15 years old. In fact, he was a member of the NYPD Explorers program. Leandra Feliz read her statement in Spanish in court today twice, once for each of the defendants, saying Junior would have graduated from high school by now and perhaps started the career in law enforcement he dreamed of, and that she wanted them to understand that the moment they decided to kill that innocent 15-year-old, they threw their own lives away. Now, the judge told both defendants that as leaders of the gang who ordered the hit and made that deadly mistake, they were just as responsible for Junior's murder as those who stabbed him. Then he sentenced them to a minimum of 25 years and a maximum of life in prison. Now, you may remember that this trial involved, there were some threats to prosecutors during the trial that certainly didn't help their case. And there are six more men who have yet to face trial also charged in Junior's murder. They will be in court here in the next two weeks.